What's going on, Collector? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Adam Raw. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, yeah. So basically, today I have not. Well, I didn't get any really downloads. Well, I did get some, but I don't think it really applied to you guys. You know. Uh, what I did see was uh, there was somebody. There was something. There's something coming to visit some people. It's it's a. I don't know what it is. But it's like. It's it's it's. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna uh, pull some cards for you guys. I'm gonna read to give you guys a reading or whatever. Um, let's see here. I did do the Bible reading. It said everything was good, so I'm just gonna see what kind of energy here. Actually, let's tap into the future tense, right? So. So let's see what's going on in the future. We got the Emperor in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, Six of Cups. I mean, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I know. All right, let's look into the future. The overall energy here is the emperor in reverse here. So yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a transference of power here. Um, somebody mighty has fallen. There's gonna be a transferring of power. Whoever is in charge right now isn't gonna be in charge forever. Their power is being fragmented right now. And what's gonna happen is there's it's gonna be fragmented among you know, not just one person, not just like transfer automatically to one person, but it's going to be kind of like a circumstance or situation where whoever this person that's in power is, their whatever authority that they held, it's going to be broken up. Like it's almost like going from a dictatorship to like an oligarchy, essentially with this emperor card out here in reverse. Yeah, somebody's powers get about to get fragmented up, almost like having like a council or something like that is the vibe I'm getting. Something about somebody losing their position or something like that and then a council being born. There's gonna be a transfer of power from one person to, um, I presume a group, right? You got the king of cups up here in reverse. You yeah, have the six of pentacles here. Yeah, this has to do with uh, somebody. It has to do with like finances or something like that. Whoever this person that's losing their power or whatever, they're being charged with embezzlement or they're getting charged with some kind of monetarily, uh, monetary uh, narcissism, right? Somebody was narcissistic and used their money or abused their power of their money to get something done. And because of that, they're being stripped of their power, their position and their power. Mm. wow yeah this person could even have a charity or be involved with a charity where they give back in some kind of way but this person is narcissistic is the vibe that i'm getting here whoever this person is that's getting ready to fall mm -hmm. somebody's been really charitable lately trying to get their car clean their karma up Somebody's been really charitable, whoever this narcissist is. They've been trying to be really charitable because they know what's coming to them and they're trying to get on good terms with karma so that they can have a favorable outcome. But the thing is, when it comes to the law of karma, which I'm gonna eventually touch upon in the, uh, in the um, you know, the other video, you know, like the Kabbalion video that I did just a second ago. Well, Essentially, what's going to happen here is that uh, when it comes to karma, you have to do it from the heart. Whoever this person is, they're doing it because they're trying to cover some shit up. That's something different. Yeah, that's why you have this nine of swords out here. Whatever it is that this person did is keeping them up at night. They're not getting any kind of rest. They're not getting any rest. I don't know what they did, but for some reason, they don't know how to live with themselves with whatever they did. Whatever it is, it's tormenting them and it's keeping them up at night. Yeah. 
they're not sleeping too well. You got the Seven of Cups here. This Seven of Cups energy, this has to do with like, you know, pills and medication and shit like that. Somebody has to take like medication and shit to be like stoned out of their mind in order to like get a rest and shit like that. That's the only time that this person feels at peace when they're high. You got the page of swords out here. Whatever, um, this person could be trying to cover something up. It's like this person is trying to keep some kind of information from coming out. I don't know what it is, but they could have even been paying people to keep this closed or keep this quiet. But whatever this is, I don't think that it's going to work. I'm going to pull cards on it and we're going to see what's going on. Let's see what they're trying to keep from coming out. Okay. So what they're trying to keep from coming out. You got the seven of swords out here in reverse. You got the judgment in reverse and you have the hangman in reverse. Okay. So yeah, they are basically trying to keep people from knowing about some kind of something that they did. It's something they did that they're trying to keep covered. And it has to do with like, I don't know. I don't know why I get the vibe of like BDSM or something like that is the vibe that I'm getting. Something about some kind of bondage or something. I want to say that this person was like keeping people, holding people hostage, essentially is what this person has been doing over the years. Like they'll find people. Hold on just a second. Okay. Yeah, there's there's information that's getting about out about people who this person has uh was deceptive towards or the people that they tried to get over on. You know what I mean? It's like this person try uh has this have have this way of trying to get over on people and stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? And you know, doing fucked up shit to people basically. And getting off with it. But most importantly, the vibe that I get here is that this person, whoever this person is, whatever this is, this person got away with something in the past, whatever it was, and it involved the court system. There was some kind of evidence that didn't show up that this person got away with that's getting ready to come, come back on this person. And this person's trying to keep it from coming back on them. So they're trying to manipulate information to try to keep that from coming back on them. Mm -hmm. So, so far what they're doing right now, they're trying to keep their mind off of it. Like I say, they've been, whoever this is, they're trying to do like charity work and stuff like that, trying to get a good reputation with the community and stuff like that. You know, essentially, when criminals or people with uh, messed up reputations start like doing like um, community service and stuff like that, and not always, okay, but some people, okay, and I say some, some people do that in order to get letters for good character letters and stuff like that. They want to be seen in a certain kind of light, yeah. Got the death card here, yeah. Whoever this person is, they're trying to, whoever this fragment energy is who lost all this power and stuff like that, they're trying, they're, they're it's like, they're trying to go through some kind of transformation. Uh, this isn't like them dying or anything like that, but they are definitely involved in something that is dangerous, essentially. And what they're trying to do is that they're trying to change, trying to um, manipulate their character. But the truth is, is that it's not working because they are, it's like, they're not genuine to the, to the change. They're only trying to change to get out of something. Yeah. They're only trying to change to get out of something so that they can be free. That's what this is. Somebody's trying to beat a court case this is the vibe I'm getting here. Somebody could be going to court and they're like trying to beat a court case. So what they're doing is they're trying to alter their uh, personality, alter their character and stuff like that, character traits and stuff like that, so that they come off as something that they're not. But, you know, 
this is how you're going. This is how we're going to catch them. Though. I'm going to show you how to catch them up on these shit. Revealed to us an inevitable way for these people to be caught. Let's see. Oh, this was an upright at the world pie. Oh, okay. So basically. If you want to catch this person, it has something to do about like being masculine, but like a like in a in a in a in a good energy. Whoever this person is, they have an avarice. They hate to see men who are kind towards other people for some reason. Whoever this is, they hate to see kind men. You know how people are really, how men are like, you know, how a man is like really strong and passive and stuff like that. Let's say like feminine almost. This person has an avarice towards feminine, feminine men. Yeah. You got the temperance card out here. Yeah. Um, this has to do with like, yeah, anything that's of love, balance. This person hates it. So people who are extremely balanced in, the, in their energy. This person has, a, you know what I'm saying? And with the world card out here in reverse, this person is trying to hold on to the, something that, that has to be let go of. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to catch this person, you, you're going to have to um, put them in a presence of a man that is um, either balanced with masculine and feminine or like a feminine man that's confident in his energy. Yeah, you have to do something like that. And when you do that, whatever this shit is, it's going to come to an end. Because it's going to trigger something in that person. Yeah. That just give me the vibe of somebody who like, let's say, like like other men or like even like other women. You know what I'm saying? And this give me the vibe of somebody who's same sex, who is trying to get off on something. But deep down, they can't fight their attraction to men who are really kind and motherly. And essentially, that's what this person is attracted to. Masculine men with feminine traits. So when you put that, when you present that kind of energy out there, or when this person is in proximity of that person, they get insecure because they're attracted to that person, but their own insecurities is what's keeping them from, you know, doing what they want to do or whatever. But that is what's how that's how you're going to trigger this person. So essentially, you're going to have to trigger this person by putting this person around masculine men that generally take care of themselves really well. And I'm not saying just because you take care of yourself really well, you're feminine. No, I'm talking about like. Yeah, well, I'll just say it like you're going to have to put them in the presence of like feminine men. That's all I got today. Uh, I know that's like a short message or whatever, but I'm going to get some rest for tonight. Uh, I love y'all all. Y'all take it easy and peace.